How's it going everyone? This is a review of the Sling Player app on the iPhone 4S. You will need a Sling Box. I have the Sling Box Pro HD and we're going to be running that with the iPhone. You will need the Sling Box hooked up um, with an Ethernet cable to your router. Also, you will need it hooked up to your cable box. Okay, here's how I have the Sling Box hooked up. This is the Sling Box on top of my cable box. This is the remote sensor that changes the channel from your mobile device. Around back is the network connection, which has to be hardwired from the Ethernet to your router, which is right there. I have the Verizon router. And you ultimately can have three devices hooked up. I only have one, though. Okay, you also have to have your sling box connected to your cable box. Um, right now I do not have it connected through HD. Those are the HD channels. There are no HDMI inputs on the sling box. Even the Pro HD, there's no HDMI inputs. So right now I have it hooked up standard definition basically. I'm just going from my cable box um, into the sling box. So it goes from here to there. That's the cable box right here. Cable box. I'm going out of the cable box into the sling player. Okay, there it is. And of course I'm also going from my cable line in from out outside basically. Cable line in, cable line out, cable line in on sling box. Okay, so once we're hooked up, we're gonna run into our sling player. Here are all the channels. So I can select basically sports center. And you'll see the cable box will change to channel 70. And there's no TV hooked up, it's just the cable box hooked up to the sling player. That's the Pro HD. And <clears throat> I'm going to give it a few seconds. It says starting. The horseshoe starts to glow. I didn't want the week to go by. There there's it so is. Much stuff going on and a lot of the preparations and planning and things going on. Okay, what I can do is I can I select the next channel. Now it's on my favorite, so the next channel is going to jump. It's not going to be 71. Because I'm on my favorites right now. So the next one is channel 340. I hit channel up. It goes to 340. I can hit channel up again. And it changes to 341. Because that's the next channel in my favorites. I don't know what channels are on. Hulk. There we go. Okay. So that's how that works. Same thing with channel down. Back to 340. This is channel down. And then you're watching. Bed show. Okay. Okay, right now we are currently connected with um, Wi-Fi. So we're going to click on Slingbox. Here's a list of the favorites that pop up. Okay, and I can select any favorite that I want. I can also click on All Channels. These are all channels in my network. I have Verizon Fio, so those are all my channels. Um, then I just select what I want to watch. Young and the Restless. Let's see. I don't actually watch this, but... We'll give it a shot. So it says connecting. It takes a few seconds before it connects. Makes a connection to the sling box and to your cable box. Sends it to the router over the network. Uh, okay, here we go. Okay, so, okay, so uh, basic functionality. I can flick up to change the channel up, as I demonstrated before. I can select down. Change the channel down. This does not only have to be connected to your home network. You can connect anywhere you want in the world as long as you have any kind of Wi-Fi connection or even over 3G. Any kind of network connection, you'll be able to watch live TV. This is all live TV. I don't know what we're watching. But we're going to change the channels. Okay. Also, we have some options. We can choose the quality. Usually, auto gives you the best quality possible. If you want 3G network, you're going to want to select SQ for standard quality. It runs just as fine. It runs a little smoother on 3G. I apologize about the camera, the glare of the video camera. Okay, so this is standard quality. Although over Wi-Fi, you're going to want to use... Um, the uh, high quality. I'm going to lower this a little bit. Okay. So anyway, with this, we can go into our guide again from this menu. 
again select any of the shows that we want to watch we can close that we can select our DVR we'll hit DVR these are our DVR controls you'll see my DVR pop up okay I have my PBA bowling on the right because I am friends with a few guys who are on the PBA tour so I uh, DVR them so I can watch the matches Team Wolf Team Wolf 2 it functions just as your remote does okay Team Wolf 2 just about the worst movie I think that's ever been made okay so Team Wolf click on it just like a remote <clears throat> just like a remote and um, it says resume play I don't know where we are in the movie but we'll give it a shot okay it takes a few extra seconds when you're working with the DVR okay good we can exit that exits out of the DVR and then close will shut down the remote okay and of course through here we have standard functions if I go to the remote I can pause remember it takes a few seconds to connect there's the pause okay I can then hit play DVR functions lag a little bit okay so it's on I can hit rewind and we will rewind you can see the picture rewinding I could rewind twice as fast if I click it again depends on what kind of DVR you have of course my DVR functions multiple rewinds and then when you're ready just hit play it will start playing you can either click in the picture or this little arrow to go back to get rid of this little menu you can either wait for it or click in the picture okay so there you go so we're watching DVR there we go if we want to watch back to live TV we click on the guide click on uh, how do you know from stars and we give it a second to load up okay and remember we're on standard definition I believe yes so if we go to auto it'll select um, high quality I'm going to give it a sec, just to switch. Once you have your quality, it's it's pretty fast from there on in. Now there you go. You have some options as to, um, you can change your devices. I only have one device, but you can hook it up to a DVD player and I guess anything else that you want to. You can connect. This is your auto detect. Um, standard basically like your standard TV settings this will auto detect whatever settings you have for the TV letterbox and stretch I like letterbox so, go alright here's some tips on the video quality I like much recommended I'm doing it a better shot of that okay yeah video buffering is a little bit bigger with 3G Obviously, it's not much buffering when you on Wi-Fi. Even with 3G standard, it, it doesn't buff as much. Um, I can select my uh, my favorites. It shows you the icon for whatever um, channel that you want to watch. Showtime. Okay, Maddie. You know what? Maybe we shouldn't talk. Okay. Want to watch sci-fi? Click on the sci-fi channel. Remember, it takes a few seconds in between. Click out of Oh, I'm going to give it a second. Okay, there it is. And then I can either wait for the menu to disappear on its own, or I can click in the middle. Okay, I'll let it, this time I let it do it on its own. And there you go. Alright. And I'm going to give an example also of how to watch it in 3G. Okay, I just shut it down for a second so I can switch off the Wi-Fi. As you can see, we're on 3G right now. Okay, 3G, we're going to go into Sling Player. So basically, you can be anywhere that you want in the world if you have a 3G connection. And here you go. We'll select us, the young and the restless. Let's see what it looks like. Connecting. Okay, remember, it takes just a few extra seconds when you're connected to 3G, but it will function the same. And I always select standard definition as opposed to high definition or high quality. Standard quality seems to be a little bit smoother.
remember it takes just a little bit longer but there it is smooth see the buffering it's buffering so what I do is I go to oops I hit the wrong button you go to auto quality and you select standard quality it'll switch to standard quality once it's in standard quality it's a lot smoother it does buffer every once in a while but it is smoother as you're driving around town obviously the driver's not watching the iPhone for TV but your passenger can and it will be uh, it will be smoother it also jump in and out as you jump in and out of networks sometimes it's a little laggy we don't have a great 3G connection right now so it's getting a little weird okay there we go sometimes it just takes a few seconds to connect then you're running 3G live TV okay over 3G we'll change the channel Remember, a few extra seconds you got to give it. There you go. That's another channel. Okay, so you're watching live TV of a 3G basically anywhere you want in the world. Awesome app. The app is 30 bucks. That hurts, but uh, but it's worth it if you're going to use it. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care.